This time last year we were in Japan. Yes, we went to Fukuoka and you flew in. We did a presentation of it in our school last year. Down, down, stop me down, down. It's very polite to slurp burp. We were so surprised to see super wrestlers how firm you want your noodles to be or how soft you want it. This toilet is only in Japan. I had the best wahoo beef ever. Black and hit the notification bells so you never miss a video. Sometimes our comments are saved. Please come back and leave us a supporting comment. We appreciate all the support. Leave us a big thumbs up and stick to the end. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. This time last year we were in Japan. Yes, we went to Fukuoka and you flew in. <gasps> we did a presentation of it in our school last year. We're going to show you videos of the presentation and some pictures of our great Japan vacation. Make sure to check out Audrey's new dance cover, Oblivion. Down, down, stop me down, down. Stop it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> We first flew from Seattle, United States to Shanghai, China. This is the cutest coconut pudding. It's a pig. Sorry, I already ate the leg. Pretend it lost it. <laughs> if you wondered, that is not corn. It is pudding. And we put it over the dry ice. It's not hot. It actually tastes like corn. After seeing so much food pictures, you probably wonder, what are some tips and tricks for eating around the world? Well, check ingredients first because you might have allergies. Second, do not be picky. Third, try everything. Fourth, eat every meal because your next meal might be delayed. Don't forget to social with new friends that you ate with the meal. Walk and exercise after eating. Next, we're going to show you us exercising in our grandparents' neighborhood park. Then we flew from Shanghai, China to Fukuoka, Japan. To this convenience store called 7-Eleven in Japan, and everything is small Everywhere. in Japan. You can see me holding that small shopping basket up there. And we also want a milk coupon, so I get it for cheap or free. <laughs> it's very polite to slurp, burp, and that's it. Sashimi, and then you mix the other ingredients 
in there and then sashimi, boom. <laughs> After lunch, we went to a cray machine and we found so many games, but we were so in control we didn't even buy any. We had the best Tanku to ramen at Ichiwan. Every ramen shop in Japan, you have to buy tickets and give it to the waiter. And each ticket costs at least 100 yen. This is a very small ramen shop, but it is very complete. At the back, you can have tissues and there's a hanger for your jacket. You also have a preference sheet, like how firm you want your noodles to be or how soft you want it, how spicy or if you want it not spicy. Then the waiter passes you your meal and then close, closes your curtain and then you can enjoy your meal. <laughs> this this toilet is only in Japan. It can heat your toilet seat so your bottle can feel heated. <laughs> We took 
a picture of the staff. After we arrived back at Fukuoka, we went to a Japanese food market, so we had food, and we went to a thrift store to get bowls and plates. The market's called Mammy's. Our dad cooks the best food. He even cooks in Japan, and we had sashimi that night. Fukuoka Dome, the world's largest geodesic dome, and it's also a baseball field. And it's Japan's first stadium built with a retractable roof. One reason we went there is for a concert. So we went to Fukuoka Dome because we were going to a K-pop and J-pop there, and we met up with the YouTuber and some fans. This is our last day in Fukuoka. We made friends with this boy. We met him two times. We, my dad was so nice to give his hat to him. This was our very last day in Japan. Goodbye. The day we arrived at Shanghai, we went to bed. Then the next morning, we went. I had the best bunny mousse cake. It had bubble tea mousse inside of it, and it was, and it was mousse outside, I believe, too. Next page. For dinner, we had a Japanese hot pot called Shabu Shabu. And the egg is actually very safe to eat raw. It says it on the egg. And basically, they put soy sauce into a hot pot and they cook it and then they use the egg as a dip. These are our favorite foods. First, brown sugar milk bubble tea. Second, um, the best beef ramen noodle. Third, my favorite was the fry rice. Then we went to a cafe called Mommy Cafe, and I did my homework day. It's not just a cafe, it's also a bookshop. And you can mail all your stuff to yourself to the future. You can pick it up 10 years later or one day. Then next day, and we also saw chicken on dry ice, and it's not hot, we told you earlier. Then this is our last meal, and we had it with our cousin Zanzan. And my favorite was the abalone. And look at the shrimp. It still has its eyes, brain, and head attached. It still tastes like shrimp. The next day, we said goodbye, and this was very, very sad. There's a new terminal in a Shanghai Putong airport. This is when we were flying back to America. When we went to Shanghai, it took 10 hours, but when we came back, it only took eight because of the tailwind. When we came there, the tailwind was pushing the other way, which is making us go slower. But when we were going back, the tailwind was pushing the same way, which made us get a little boost. Um, for breakfast, we had um, American food, not Chinese food on the airplane. Um, I, we had sausages, Sausages, scrambled egg, and tater tots. Questions? So, our, um, if the teachers can help open the jello, we will be passing out snacks. Make sure to check out Audrey's dance cover Oblivion. Down, down, stop me down, down. Wesley, you're out. Okay, okay let's go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We're Little Cassie. I'm Audrey. I'm Wesley. Make sure to subscribe. And also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video.